faces. But thank you everyone for being patient and waiting for me while I get my nectar to avoid, you know, going hoarse. I found some aluminum. Where is it? Up there. Okay. Uh, is, this, is there aluminum over here? Because that would be amazing. Nope. Alright. Uh, do I want to grab aluminum? I could maybe try skipping it this game. This iron's just so good, it's hard to pass up. Maybe I'll just take this water for now and investigate aluminum a little later. Which means sell. I need to buy a bunch of steel. Okay. Revolving colony found it. This is the downside of doing this is I absolutely have to buy up the aluminum. All right. There's not too much. Okay. There's actually good aluminum right here if I can get to it in time. I need this water to come in. That'll give me the money to upgrade. Then I can grab this aluminum and throw down three steel mills and be kind of set. I think. There. Sell. Is go, claim, go! No, the scientific player is going to take it! Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, it's mine! Take that! Scrubs. No, they're actually fine. They still have to deal with it, though. Scientific colony expanded. Now, I don't know how we're going to get the class we need to actually upgrade. I guess just this steel production. Geotherm would be kind of nice. Man, do we have iron. We have iron everywhere. We might need to throw down four steel mills. Just so we can burn through the sheer amount of iron we have collecting. Clark has also managed an upgrade. He did a kind of similar thing to us, but he threw down a steel mill and the aluminum immediately, and then he made the buys he needed to, I imagine, into steel very quickly. So that's fine. Okay, 12,000 for a geo is fine. We'll use it. Not a big deal. It'll be a while, but it's just debt. And if we play it out correctly, then debt shouldn't kill us. He has a metal mine down instead of a steel mill. That's an issue. I didn't check difficulties before I started the game. I think everybody's Black on manager. Market Black market. Ah, let's just grab the claim. Do we make steel is the question now. Or do we do something else? I think we can afford to make steel. We can also maybe just grab some high silicon. I'm not seeing a whole lot of silicon around. And this high silicon is potentially very valuable. So let's grab that instead. Now we need to buy into glass as much as we possibly can manage. Sell water. Buy a glass. There we are. Okay. Reactors are a potential option this game, for sure. This guy already has food down, which kind of leans me away from food. That explains why glass got so expensive so fast, as he just went straight into food after his initial steel mills. So he's actually off to a fantastic tearing start up there for a scientific player in particular that's kind of terrifying all right scientific colony expanded get that geo down let's make sure we've got this goon purchasable the black market is online 2000 instead of 1500 not too too bad definitely tolerable and on the upgrade we'll probably just be looking for reactors as fast as we can pull it off Revolting we have too much iron coming in guys i don't know what else to say about it it's just too much iron coming in Okay, so we're just kind of waiting on the aluminum and steel now. We don't have too much aluminum production. And there's not as much established as I would have expected. I was hoping Clark would kind of bring that price down faster, but he's not. Thankfully, we do have some aluminum income established. But this steel... A lot of people moved into steel, but they did it late. So it created kind of an awkward situation. Oh, there's the upgrade we needed. We'll just put reactors down up here. And we'll grab this geo as well. Expansive colony expanded. Power's nice. Steel is cheap. Aluminum's not that bad. If I need to, I can mutiny this if I super want more aluminum. Yeah, see, this costs like nothing to actually put down. So even though we need a goon to protect it, I think it's still the right call. And then maybe we just scrap our steel production all together. 
and put down some glass furnaces. Well, we don't really need another geotherm tile. I don't even want to fight over that as long as it doesn't go for 3,000. Okay, there we go. A thousand dollars. There we go. Wells bit himself up and learned what that does these days. If I get this for 8,000, I'm actually going to be kind of mad at all these people. Whatever. Well, I can just put another one down. Maybe goon it, maybe not. At this point, I'm going to have three of them, so what do I care if they're getting blown up and mutinied? Where is it, anyway? It's over there. No, no, 60 steel for no dollars each. Yeah, these are only making 22 right now. We might need to secure a little more silicon to make them actually good. But at least they're okay. You know, and glass is going to keep going up with any luck, so... It also makes it a little bit easier to make a food transition away from this iron, things of that nature. Power is still going up! You people are nuts! Let's go ahead and goon that. There's a chance somebody will attack it. Not a good one, apparently, especially because this power got attacked, but like... We're making 400 on power right now. We're not even really trying. Okay, the AI is trying to blow us up. Apparently Asimov is a computer. Well, let's blow that up. Make everybody unhappy. I guess we're just looking for another upgrade. We can probably just sell glass and do it, quite frankly. Mutiny where? Oh, on my aluminum. Well, I don't really care. Like, that's not a bad mutiny, but it's not game crippling either. Let's get a little more water production down. Scrap out of this iron. Get a lot of food down. Secure a little more silicon. That one's pretty okay. And then maybe we just go for a patent lab, because honestly, slant drilling looks kind of good this game. The black market is online. Glass furnaces making us nothing all of a sudden. Because oxygen's kind of expensive, and a bunch of things are kind of expensive. Let's just leave it at that. Right, sell off this stuff. Goon squad, my food. Which is probably my single most important stuff right now. He's making so much money on food. More than we are. Well, we're making just about as much on food as he is. Maybe a little more. Because we do have four tiles committed, but his tiles are way more efficient because they don't need to buy up all this expensive water. Ours does get attacked. A new claim would be fantastic, but I don't know if it's, you know, feasible. Can we turn these back on yet? Yes. Scientific colony expanded. Right, water came down. Let's go ahead and make that push for slant drilling we were talking about. We might get blown up and or mutinied. That's just kind of life though. Not much to do about it. Bradbury definitely is looking like the primary competition in this game. Our debt's almost gone, which is nice. It is very easy to overproduce stuff and crash the market, by the way. You have to be very, very careful about it. There, 10,000. We'll let it go for 10,000. Niven can have it. That's fine. How much money is Bradbury sitting on? About $50,000. That is a terrifying amount of money that Bradbury is actually sitting on. So we'll need to watch out for that. He's also got more food going up that we can't shut down super easily. At least our silicon income's doing okay. Yep, Patent Lab immediately blown up. We'll start repairs on that. Electrolysis is doing good. Glass is doing alright. Food is strong. So that's all fine. We do kind of need another upgrade because it would be nice to grab up some carbon before it crashes. The black market is online. Alright, can we push for a claim? Expansion yeah, we can. Not too, not with any real difficulty either, so that's good. Could put down another glass furnace. Could put down another electrolysis reactor. Why don't we just grab that carbon I talked about? Grab like one more later. Yeah, Bradbury and I are both kind of clear front runners right now. Ooh. Electronic shortage. I'm betting we can use this. Bradbury probably has a lot in it as well. We, pro we have about equal amounts, I think, in this right now. I'm just going to sell now. That seemed to go reasonably well. I have a lot of money sitting around. Bradbury has a lot of money Scientific sitting around. That wasn't him. Okay. I could upgrade. 
I don't know if I want to, though. Ah, it's a little risky if I do. But I think I can get away with it. I'd like to get a goon squad on this first. So I can abuse it again. Well, Niven's well, buying his own stock. That's understandable. Line. His stock is awful. To put not too fine a point on it. His stock price is awful. I'm very concerned that Bradbury is just kind of outpacing us bit by bit. Like, him getting to ignore water has seriously worked out for him this game. Underground nuke on what? On this carbon tile. Well, that's unfortunate. Or sorry, this silicon tile. Okay. Oh, and this silicon tile's blown up and I never noticed. That's causing problems too. Glass keeps getting worse. I keep getting assaulted by black market every moment of today. Oh, this, this is an aluminum mine. Come on! Bradbury is winning! He is the one in the lead! Pay attention, people! Come on! This is ridiculous. Ah, uh, Fine. I'm just gonna upgrade. I'm done with all of you. Okay. Let's start electronics production. Maybe get one more carbon tile down to make sure I've got plenty of carbon coming in. Then I'm just going to put down some really stupid electronics, I think. The black market is online. And we'll move the glass into it later. Take another goon squad. Because I feel like I have to. Start buying into this stock. Still worry about Bradbury attacking me in the back before too long. Whoa, Marsquake! Well, that's terrifying because I just upgraded. And Bradbury gets another great boost this game. We did the sell as soon as was reasonable, I think. Your stock is being bought. Niven's going after me. That's okay. In a lot of ways, actually. That's okay. Our electrolysis is frozen. Our water's active, but bad. Our electronics are active, but not great. There's a mutiny on us, again. Guys, how much black market have we been hit by this game, I ask? Because it feels like too much. When I say too much, I mean this is really, really dumb, and I'm kind of tired of it this game. That's what I actually mean by that. 141,000 is going to be the goal. Can we push there? Well, what's Niven got his money from right now? Not a lot of places. Yeah, Mostly that Marsquake is what it looks like. So let's scrap this, get into electronics. Electronics are good. Aluminum's insane at the moment, which is what's hurting my electronics more than anything else. Let's grab a mutiny and save it. Carbon scrubbing is available. Slant drilling is good. Potentially might be the only thing we actually get out of this patent lab. Might need to move into an engineering lab instead. I guess we can get nanotech. Maybe make that push. All right. 136,000. I think we're actually going to focus on buying out the rest of our own stock first. We're just going to make sure we're okay on that front. Niven sold out of Asimov, interestingly enough. That's odd. I wasn't expecting that one. All right, scrap, scrap. Oh, come on. Aluminum is so insane right now. I really want this back, please. I know Niven's making all kinds of money on it. And I know I could just mutiny it, but what I'm wanting to do is mutiny it after I get mine back. That way I get those adjacency bonuses and really work on that, you know? Of course, there's a steel short right now. Why wouldn't there be? All right. I don't know how, where that's going to actually land, but... See what we can do with it. Uh, fuel's kind of good right now. Can I make the move into fuel? Unfortunately, steel is so expensive, it makes moving into fuel very, very awkward. 139 to kill Niven is all I need at this point. 140. I guess he's taking on some debt. Okay, six seconds. Yeah, steel didn't stay that way. There. Now it's my aluminum. Go away, please. Okay, steel came back down. We were talking about that being our primary thing in the way of our chem transitions. So we're just going to make that chem transition now. I never checked off-worlds this game. 
Fuel's actually really, really good off-world, which is worth noting. Still worried about Bradbury and his runaway lead, in my opinion, but what are you going to do? 137,000 is the required goal. We are almost there. In particular because of this electronics production, which is out of control. We have aluminum coming in, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to acquire Niven, who has a fair amount of aluminum as well. Clark would be fantastic to buy too, but I don't know if we can actually push there all the way. Niven's making himself more expensive to buy up, but we can do it anyway. And then we're after Clark. Okay, all this stuff was apparently losing money. We can upgrade him, but aluminum's so expensive, I don't know if it's actually worthwhile. I'm gonna grab another mutiny. Take this again. Which, by the way, is fantastic because of slant drilling. Like, I'm making stupid amounts of money off of this. Because slant drilling. We also have nanotech. There is an electronic shortage, which we can, we can definitely make some decent use of. These, I think, need to get... Like, this territory just needs to get fixed. In general. This is, this is bad territory. So let's just scrap all this. Move back into some reactors here. Sell here, sell here. What am I at? 120 out of the 187 I desire. Let's get that buy on Clark. I wanted his aluminum in particular, because man, does he have boatloads of that. He also has a lot of electronics production. He was set up reasonably well, and I can still use his territory very effectively. The usual goals. You know what I'm talking about. Patent Lab, you are doing nothing for me. What do I want you to do? Thinking machines is what I want you to do, because I'm thinking about an off-world this game. That could definitely be very important. Where it's time to start buying into Bradbury. Wells is not sitting on a lot. Yeah, Asimov is not is sitting on a lot. Right. I think those guys are having trouble with their transitions this game. Uh, let's see. It's going to be nighttime in a moment, so I don't really want to knock those out. So we can definitely do that. New claim would be wonderful. We're just going to go after Bradbury because he's the one with all the stock and none of it's in himself. So... Better just to kill him. Oh, mutinies. I don't even want to think about how much money you made me this game. Alright, these are about to turn off. Power's also on its way down during the day pretty heavily. As soon as they turn off, scrap, scrap. Mine, mine. That's going to flood aluminum pretty heavily. Where is that nuke? What is this? Oh, it's another silicon quarry. Uh, well, let's make it power. And where's my other silicon quarry that's useless? Right here. Let's make it power. And this one is also useless. Let's make it power. That gets old, honestly. Like, seriously? Saying that over and over again <laughs> was kind of depressing. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this tile, that's bad. Why? Because, uh, screw you. Oh, cool. Alright. 175,000 to win the game. All it's going to take. We should have that in a moment. As we can see, our cash is just, or our resources are just flying up. So we're just going to sit here and wait for it. Very, very patiently while I actually take a look at chat for once. Yes, I believe the reactor is 0.5 fuel and 0.25 oxygen per. Yep, 0.25 oxygen, 0.5 fuel. It's exactly what it is, not a big deal. Let's win the game. <sighs> GG. So who was Bradbury? Doctor of Pillneb. Yeah, I've seen him before. He was the scary person in that game. He did well. But he didn't buy his own stock, and I think he had some trouble transitioning. And we just kind of flew on through as our expansive selves and made it work. So, you know, it was fine. Made about a million dollars that game. Not too bad, all things considered. Got a lot off electronics. That was the big deal, was electronics. Mostly because carbon was staying low, and we did secure enough of it to kind of carry through our electronics production, regardless of what it did. So even with aluminum going totally nuts... It takes twice as much carbon as aluminum to make electronics, right? To, to produce out of your factory for one second. It takes twice as much carbon as aluminum. So it wasn't honestly that big a deal. On top of that, I think we scrapped out of steel at an appropriate time. 
We made that electronics transition work, and generally we were more efficient with our tiles this time around than last game. We didn't have tiles like I did with the carbon and the silicon as the scientific player, where I was like, man, these suck because I took them and they were bad. We had tiles that we were like, man, these suck because I got underground nuked and that sucks. And that's it, you know? Slant drilling worked. Well, Mickey, I'm glad you're enjoying. I'm glad you liked the YouTube and this stream. I plan to keep doing it for quite some time, as long as people are interested in watching. So that's that's good to hear. Oh, and then we sold a lot on power because three geotherms for no money, right? Three geotherms. And we just got to ignore power. Which was totally fine. I just sat there ignoring power all game, and it just quietly made me money all game. It was fantastic. Uh, let's see. What happened? I would love to see. I want some more detailed graphs so I could tell exactly what happened to Dr. Pilneb. Because he started off so strong. He started off so strong. And he was clearly the second place player the whole time, right? But why did he end up purchasing 162,000 in electronics and then selling 124? Did he just buy into a short poorly and that have that stall him out? Because that's what it looks like happened, honestly. We can also see... He never secured aluminum, and he was trying, or silicon, and he made electronics. So I think that's part of what happened to him this game. At some point, he was making electronics, probably on these tiles that turned into something. Oh no, maybe he just, maybe it was a lot here. He moved into an off-world. It was not yet the time for an off-world ever that game. So I think this was the big problem, right here. You got to be careful with your off-worlds. On top of that, this is basically a wasted tile, right? No adjacency. And I'm only har harping on this guy because he was off to such a great start, right? He had the right idea starting the game, and that was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. And then he just kind of fell apart in the mid, and that let us run away with it. Like maybe too much power established without something like superconductor, you know, a superconductor, you do this kind of thing, it only takes like two or three tiles, and bam, it's ridiculous. You can use the others for something else. I don't know, guys. He did a great job at the beginning, and then something happened, something happened at the end. I think it really looked like, from how much electronics he purchased, to how much he sold, like this off-world was a problem, and maybe he bought into a short poorly at some point. That's what I have to imagine it was. All right. Well, guys, I'll be honest. My headache is building rather than...